So by definition, static templates don't change. If we want to be able to change its function or what it's linked to, we need to use a parameterized template. A parameter is what allows each instance to, re to reference different data. Parameters allow instances that otherwise look identical to contain different data. And that brings us to the next kind of template, which are variable templates. So variable templates are the next step up from static templates. A simple variable template is like making your own component for ignition. It's just a graphic that exposes a simple property that can be linked to other tags or any other data source, like maybe a query or a calculation through an expression, whatever it may be. A variable template commonly has one parameter, which is a simple value like an integer or a string. As I said earlier, the parameter is what allows template instances to, re to reference different data. This is the template you need when you don't know how it's going to be used on the screen, but you do want to make this combination of components in one place. What you're essentially making is a component that anyone can use in any way that they want. The variable template is a very generic template that you or somebody else can link to anything they want, whether it's a tag, a query, or whatever. So for example, let's say you want to make a customized tank graphic with, that displays a level, and you don't like the, the tank that comes with ignition. Let's say that tank's level is integer, so you want to make a template with a simple integer value parameter. You can link the value of the template instance to any source that's out there, a tag, a query, a calculation, or anything else. Whatever it's linked to on the window will determine what that level is, but the appearance of the tank is determined by the template graphic. So let's take a, a, a look at how we can make a variable template ignition. Let's do a, a demo of that, that tank. Example, let's say we have a tank that we want to use that is um, you know, not, not the one that comes with ignition. So if you go to ignition's component palette over here on the right-hand side, there's a cylindrical tank, and you, know, you may not like that. Maybe your tank is a powder tank, and it looks different, and you want to use that instead of the cylindrical tank. Well, the great thing about the cylindrical tank, it's a component ignition. So no matter what window you put it on, if, if we at Inductive Automation make a change to that tank, then everybody's going to get that update. And so that's the same concept of a template, but here we can actually make a template that is our own component. So I'm going to go here to my variable area. I'm going to right-click and create a new template, and I'm going to call this powder tank. Now, the important thing about this one is going to be parameterized. So the first step that we do with this template is to right-click and go to Customizers, Custom Properties to add a template parameter. In this case, we're going to do a simple parameter, and we're going to call this level. And it's going to be integer value. So literally, it's going to be the level that we want to show in that tank. And we're going to make that a drop target. We'll show you what that does in just a few minutes. So what I want to do here is actually make this look like that tank. And I'm going to use these simple factor graphics since we have some tanks in here that I can play around with. Let's say our powder tank looks like this one right here. So I'm going to put that one onto the window and make it a little bit bigger. And so, of course, I want to see a level in there. So what I can also do is go to a cutaway, and I'm going to actually take a, a, a shape like this one here and cut it away from that powder tank. So I'm going to go ahead and select the tank, select that cutaway, and I'm going to go in and do a difference so I can cut out a shape of that template or that graphic. And then I'm going to go over here to my level indicator and put that on the window. So the level indicator is going to be what shows that level. I'm going to put that behind that, uh, that cutaway there so I can see it. So if I go and set my value here to 50, you'll see that it fills up. Now, of course, the level indicator right now is above the powder tank, so I'm going to put it behind it. So I'm going to use this, this way of uh, moving it to the back. So now you can see it's behind it, and I've made my own graphic. The last thing I want to do, of course, is link the level of this indicator to the property or parameter of the template. So I'm going to go ahead and bind the value to a, pro to a property, go and get the level of the, the template there that I just created, and now it's ready to go. So now I can go use this on a window. And we may not know how the user is going to use this on the window. If they're going to link it to a tag or to something else. So the idea is I can take the template, put it on here like a component. I can go down here to the property, and I can set it to whatever I want. So if I set it to 60, you can see that one. Is certainly looking at 60. If I put another one on here, I can set it to a value of 20. They're showing different values. But of course, we can link these to different things. So let's say the first one, I want to link that to a tag. So I take uh, a tag that we have over here, uh, and, and we can link it over. Um, so my tags here aren't coming through. So let me do one quick thing, and we'll, uh, we'll get that up and running. Okay, so now we've got some values in here. 
And I'm going to take one of these RAMs, so I'm just going to drag it over to the template, and you'll see it's going to link it up to that one. Now the value is changing. Now the great thing about using that drop target is I can take a tag and drag it onto the screen, and if I go to my templates, I can see any of the variable templates that I've created, and I can simply just you know, use it. So if I select the powder tank now, it'll automatically put it on the window and link it to that tag. I have a couple other ones here. I can take the ramp tag and bring it on here as a gauge, for example. That's going to now show that. It's another variable template that we created in here. Um, or there's another example of the, the temperature gauge. So the idea is all very simple. I expose a parameter that I can link to on the screen to anything I want, whether it be a tag, a query, or whatever.